This is the floating market in Hadiai. It's open every Saturday and Sunday from 3 p.m. till about 9 p.m. at night. You'll find a large undercover area selling all sorts of clothes, souvenirs, and food products. But the floating section of the market is down the stairs on the banks of a river. Down here you'll find dozens of little boats with vendors selling all sorts of food and drinks. You can order the food you want and the vendors will prepare the food for you. And then they'll put it in a little basket and hand it over to you. And you put your money into the basket to send it back to the vendor. There's a huge range of local foods available. The market's fairly unpopulated early in the afternoon at about 3 o'clock. Not a lot of the vendors are still setting up, but later in the afternoon it gets much busier. So here I bought a prawn cake and some steamed sweet potato. Let's get my products and send the money back to the vendors. So this was at about 4.30 in the afternoon when the market is much busier. It's still pretty easy to do shopping there, but there is a much bigger crowd. Here I'm buying some fried quail eggs. Lady adds some soy sauce and some pepper to them before she sends them over. They come in a banana leaf that's been shaped into a long tail boat. So I said there are loads of different foods available. All sorts of fried sausages, pie sweets, fried potato twists. The fried foods. Some barbecued fish curry, fried sausages and fish balls. Whole fried fish. Barbecued seafood. Fried chicken there. So fried soup. This is a Muslim beef soup. This is a yummy looking pad thai that a gentleman was cooking. All the food is cooked fresh there. A lot of it cooked while you wait. All sorts of curries there. Steamed chicken buns and dim sum. Thai noodle dish that's made to order. Some sort of hot dog type things, fried sweets. This lady was making Thai omelettes. A sweet Thai waffle type thing here. And more yummy Thai sweets. Also drinks, these are fruit juices. You can buy them in either bamboo or in novelty pottery cups that you can take away as a souvenir. Well this looking at food was making me hungry. I spotted something I'd never tried before. Fried papaya salad, somtam. They look really yummy. So I ordered a somtam Thai. 
Lady adds some garlic and chilli, mixes that a bit and adds some more seasoning, beans, tomato. Assorted sauces. And then mixes that through. She added fried papaya and carrot to a little banana leaf boat. And then top that with the sauce that she mixed. Wife and son spotted something that interested them. The shop had fried sausages and also Thai fish cakes. My son Ananda quite likes giving people money. It hasn't quite worked out how far their arms can stretch yet though. So next I decided to go back for these fried fish. These were tiny little fish about 50 millimetres long that were deep fried and crispy. They looked really yummy so I thought I'd try them. So we found a spot just down the river from the market where we had a Thai bamboo chair where we could try the food that we bought. Quite a nice spot to eat, very relaxing. And the food was great. Thai fish cakes were very yummy. I thought I'd try my fried fish, which were also very, very tasty. A little bit salty and very crispy. They were awesome, actually. fried somtam which is there also was really really delicious I have heard of this but have never tried it before it was very very tasty also had some sticky rice that Orn's giving Ananda there It was a very nice and relaxing place to eat and the food was delicious. Also paddle boats that you could hire from a place across the river. There was lots of other seating available at the market and more tables under the bridge. There's also a big stage there where they do karaoke and have bands performing. You can actually get up and sing a song if you want. Across the bridge there's another section of the market. Over there, there were some monks giving blessings. Lots of locally made, handmade goods. These are fairy lights. 
So tie shadow puppets, leather goods, belts, and necklaces and wristbands, handbags, cheap jewellery, sunglasses, beauty products and makeup, wood carvings, lots of toys. CDs and DVDs and loads of clothes, kids clothes, women's clothes, t-shirts, hats, shoes, there's also a big temple complex over there and there were more stalls inside the temple. There's also an elephant there that you could feed. There's also loads more food available here. Thai barbecued pork and barbecued sausages. Barbecued squid. Steamed vegetables here. Not sure what some of these were. And also steamed peanuts. barbecued pork and yummy looking barbecued sausages there. There's also packet goods, popcorn and these which is one of my favourite Thai snacks, fried insects. They have crickets, bigger crickets. Grasshoppers, sago worms, and also silkworms, which both my wife and I like. So we grabbed a bag of the silkworms. Gotta add some soya sauce, and then add some pepper to them. And they're good to go. That was 20 bahts worth there. A Thai sweet here, barbecued rice, more of the fried potato twists. Socks. This market is a great place to spend a couple of hours, grab a feed and have a good look around. From this side of the river you can also get a good view of the floating section of the market. So check that out from the bridge. When we went back there was a Southern Thai dance demonstration that was happening. style of dancing is from the south of Thailand. And they had a live band playing the music for them. It is very popular on the weekends and it's one of the numerous tourist attractions in Padiai. So after this I was getting a bit thirsty, I decided to get a Thai iced tea. It didn't have the sword that I wanted which is a black iced tea, Cha Da Mien. They had this orange version here, Cha Yen, which is also very tasty and well worth trying while you're in Thailand. So they add ice to a cup. It is safe to use the ice in Thailand. It all comes from filtered water. Restaurants and vendors like this buy big bags of ice and it is very cheap to buy. I prefer to use that and have their customers come back than have someone get sick and not come back. So the guy poured the tea into the cup of ice and topped it with condensed milk.
added a straw, cup and cup, and then gave me the cup. It's good to go, they're 20 baht for one of those generally, and they are very, very tasty, it's very refreshing. So there's lots of shopping on this side of the market as well, t-shirts, sports shirts, polo shirts, souvenir shirts, women's clothing, men's clothing, Thai style clothes, kids clothes, women's underwear, lots of shoes, handbags, more toys, so it's a knickknacks, watches, more cheap jewellery and locally made woven carry bags and baskets. There's also lots of packaged goods, dried fruit and other Thai food products. Also Thai sweets. There's restaurants there, both indoor and outdoor ones. And lots of food choices. Fried pork products there. Barbecued pork sticks. Mussel omelettes there. Whole fried crabs. Stick food. These were whole fried little prawns that looked very tasty, so I grabbed a bag of those. for that. I told her I didn't need the sauce. There's a huge selection of food and drinks here. Some sort of Thai omelette there. Not sure what these were. Fried fish egg cakes, fried fish egg cakes there. Market is quite big. As I said earlier, you could spend a couple of hours there easily. Lots of grilled shashlik type things. Barbecued corn. Also steamed corn. Stick food here, sausages and meatballs, yummy Thai fried chicken. So that's a quick look at the Klong Hei floating market in Hat Yai. It's definitely worth a look if you're in Hat Yai. You can do some shopping, check out some Thai culture, and try some of the many local foods that are available there. If you've enjoyed the video please give it a thumbs up and check out my channel for lots more Thailand videos. I upload new videos every Wednesday. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.